today's video, we'll take a look at five scary forest encounters that were caught on camera by YouTubers. From satanic cults to scary ghosts to human remains, let's check out what kind of stuff has been encountered in these scary videos. YouTuber Mortis the Wizard went into the woods after receiving a tip from a former satanic cult member and a local farmer about a scary location in the forest, in which satanic cults sacrifice at a particular spot named the Circle of Lucifer. As he reaches the spot, he finds what he believes to be human remains, although he also takes into speculation whether it could be animal bones or not. He believes he found a human spine as well as what used to be an arm and a hand with curled fingers. He was also informed that these sacrifices take place monthly, if not weekly. There were bones everywhere, which gave him quite a fright. YouTuber Bucks went into a haunted forest at night along with two of his friends. The forest is said to be a meeting point for cults to perform rituals. They're only there for a couple of minutes before they hear strange noises. When it sounds like someone has gotten very close to them, they start running. After uploading the video, commenters, along with Bucks, notice what looked like a luminous figure standing behind a tree watching them. That's not a dog. Just the house, isn't it? It's a circle. It's like, oh, a, shit. like a fire. Yeah, they put something here. No, guys, I'm really... I don't know, I'm just out of breath, I don't like this. No, 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 Many people commented about other parts in the video where something scary could allegedly be seen, such as a ghost girl, but it's quite difficult to see in the darkness. Nevertheless, these guys definitely felt like there was something scary inside the forest that didn't want them to be there. Exploring with Josh, went into a haunted forest with his friends to see if they could capture anything on camera. The area is called Huckamock Swamp, which is a place of mystery and fear, and remains a popular location for paranormal enthusiasts, since much of the swamp served as a sacred burial ground. Once they reach the middle of the woods, they sit down, turn off all their lights and play the quiet game to hopefully capture any strange sounds. They don't hear any sounds, but around 30 minutes into the quiet game, Josh sees a light in the distance. We're not the only ones. <laughs> I see the light going on again, that blinking light. Oh, oh. you see it? You see it? Oh, we can capture it. Look, it, it's like a little dot down there. It's like a yeah, little freaking same, dot. That's the same light. Hang on. Oh, can I zoom in anymore? F oh, my I can't God. zoom anymore. I see it, though. Look at my thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that. Your camera shows it. Yeah, it shows everything. Mine. Show it. Show it. Show. I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't my even. God. It, it would have to be zoomed in. But over here. Oh, where, my God. It's still right there, though. Yeah, the dot is like still that. there. This is crazy. Now we can see it. Wait, that, Dude, that, but that also means it's getting, single time it's getting closer, though. We encounter, yeah. Yes, but that means it's getting closer. Now we're getting closer. So we somewhere. approach it? Yes. They begin to approach the light, but instead they find something creepy hanging from a tree. Afterwards, someone chases them out. Dude, what the heck? I can't even what see without my glasses. Hand, hand. Oh, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer. That's a blur. Dude, that's a f***ing clown mask. Hey, what? Yo. What? Okay. Dude, shut off your lights right now. Yeah, you're right. Someone's probably watching us. Dude, come on. Lights off. Lights off. Come on, let's go. Oh, f I hear them in the forest. I hear them in the forest. Dude. Hang up. I can't even see where I'm going. Lights off. Lights off. Shh. Lights off. Shh. 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 Shh.
Go, go, go. I don't even care. This was perhaps someone trying to scare them, but it could also be someone with more sinister intentions. YouTube channel Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration investigated the haunted forest and went down the road less traveled. They caught a bunch of creepy EVPs, but the thing that caught most viewers' attention was the creepy sighting of a ghostly figure standing in the woods watching them while the camera was panning. Take a look. So get out now, then it said hi, Patty. Dude. If this is in fact a ghost, it looks like a woman with her mouth open. But perhaps this is just a trick of light. The entire video was 33 minutes long, so I suggest you go check it out to hear the EVPs and get a much better look at the full investigation. Filmmaker Dan Bell is known for venturing into some of the scariest places in the US. In a documentary made for his YouTube channel, he explored Leakin Park in Baltimore, Maryland, a place in which at least 71 bodies have been discovered since the 1940s. The actual number is likely higher due to incomplete archives of the Baltimore Sun. Dan Bell had previously explored Leakin Park but went back after the body of the Sean Kamal Conyers was discovered in a well at Leakin Park. In the documentary, Dan has several scary encounters. Firstly, he along with a friend of his discovered what could potentially be evidence in the homicide case. It was most likely when they threw the, the victim in there. When they threw him in there, whatever came off of him during the impact. Yeah, he hit the uh, he hit the wall on the way down and, and that's Oh my god. Secondly, Dan has an encounter with the person first watching them, who then runs away. Could this be the murderer? Uh, there's something back here on the trail. And I don't, I, I don't know if it's an animal or a person. Um, Lastly, he finds a bag in the woods containing something disturbing. I don't know what I'm looking at. It. Oh, it's an animal. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a dog. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh the smell. You can see. Got, it's got a dog collar right there. Hey, we're Root, and we can save you up to 52% off your car insurance rates. Download the app and take Root for a ride today. From this video alone, it's quite clear that Leakin Park is a scary place that you should not visit alone. And that was five scary forest encounters caught on camera by YouTubers. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video.
everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at 5 ghost videos you probably shouldn't watch alone. This video is sponsored by Amino. Amino is a mobile network containing all sorts of communities for all sorts of interests, from anime to Five Nights at Freddy's to fashion and much more. If you've ever felt like you're the only one in your school or job that are into horror, conspiracy theories, true crime, and so on, just know that you're definitely not alone because Amino connects you directly to people who share your passion for the paranormal. There are all sorts of darkness communities like ghost hunting, true crime, and creepypasta. My personal favorite darkness Amino is paranormal because people take the subject seriously, and not only that, I've only seen friendly people on it. The Paranormal Amino community also helped choose the topic of this video in a poll I did. On Amino, you can browse a featured feed of amazing posts, quizzes, stories, and art. A personal favorite of mine being a post on some of the scariest haunted churches. On Amino, you can connect with fellow conspiracists from around the world, and you'll quickly find out you're not alone when it comes to a need to know the truth. So, with that said, Let's begin. Watching ghost videos alone, right before bed, is for many an easy way to feel terrified of what might grab you in the dark. For this list, I tried to find ghost videos that hopefully none of you had seen before. This first video is called the Valentown Museum Ghost. It was recorded on April 24, 2006. Inside the Valentown Museum, which contains thousands of artifacts, objects, and heirlooms that represent the local 19th century history of the Big Ten Rochester, New York area. During an investigation, an unexplained figure can be seen moving forward from the background. The figure seems to be transparent. The investigator doesn't even notice the alleged ghost. Video experts allegedly verified the footage to be authentic finding no signs of the footage being altered. Now take another look at the video, this time with enhancements. This video allegedly shows a poltergeist moving a rolling pin. Similarly to the last video and all the other videos on this list, it was recorded well over 10 years ago, although the specific date is not known. The moving rolling pin is not the only odd thing about the video, as a strange figure can be seen sitting at the dinner table in the background. Who's in here? I'm just standing here cleaning. Uh -huh. That thing took off by itself, and oh, it's doing wow. all kinds of weird stuff. I got it on tape, too. Really? And there's a smell like dog do in here all of a sudden. I smell earwax in this corner. Okay. Is it a mannequin, a person not moving, or perhaps a ghost? Either way, whatever's sitting there looks extremely creepy and out of place. If it were a person, they'd probably react to the poltergeist activity. 